Step 1. Approach Most people believe that to become wealthy, you need to start with wealth, but that's a myth. 79% of millionaires did not inherit their wealth. A small, consistent start is often more powerful than one big lucky break. Think about it this way, if you set aside just $5 a day, yes, the price of a daily coffee, at an 8% annual return that turns into about $380,000 over 40 years. But what if you could find a way to turn that $5 into 10 or 20? So here's the first big reveal. Those who make it to a million on a low salary don't start with massive sums. Instead, they find a way to make the most out of tiny amounts, and they begin with the belief that small amounts matter. This change in thinking, the idea that even $5 can snowball over time, is the first step toward financial freedom. Make sure to like and subscribe for more financial tips and strategies. Now on to the next. Step two, living below your means, but not in the way you think. The classic advice to live below your means sounds obvious, but it's also where most people go wrong. Many believe they're doing it just by cutting out luxuries. But the real secret? It's not about sacrificing everything enjoyable. It's about reducing your biggest expenses in ways that are smart, not extreme. Imagine saving hundreds every month by cutting down on one major expense rather than pinching pennies everywhere. Housing, for example, is often the biggest budget item. By choosing to live with roommates or in a less expensive neighborhood, someone making $15 per hour could save an additional $300 to $500 each month. This single decision frees up thousands every year, which can then be invested to start building wealth. This is what those low-income millionaires know. The real savings aren't in skipping lattes. They're in the big, strategic choices that give you room to breathe financially. Step 3. Avoiding debt, like it's kryptonite. Now let's talk about debt. High interest debt, like credit card balances, is one of the biggest wealth destroyers. And yet it's common. The average person has multiple credit cards, often carrying balances month to month. Here's why that's a problem. Even a $1,000 balance at 20% interest could cost you around $200 a year just to keep. That's $200 that could have been growing in an investment account, compounding over time. So here's the next key principle. Low-income millionaires do everything they can to avoid unnecessary debt. They pay down balances aggressively or avoid them altogether. If you have credit card debt, think about getting a balance transfer to a 0% APR credit card for a set term and pay off the debt before the interest starts. Think of debt as a weight holding back your ability to build wealth. Free yourself from it and you can start redirecting every dollar toward things that actually grow in value. Step 4. The Investment Secret. Compounding with Consistency. Here's where it starts to get exciting. We've talked about saving, cutting back on expenses, and avoiding debt, but what actually builds wealth? The answer is compounding. People often assume investing is only for the wealthy, but in reality, it's the path that turns ordinary earners into millionaires. Here's a simple example. Imagine investing $200 a month in a stock market index fund with an 8% return. That small amount, $200 a month, can grow to over $700,000 in 40 years. Add just a bit more to it over time and you're looking at a million. The reason compounding works so well isn't just because of the amount you put in, but because of how long you keep it there. Low-income millionaires start early and stay consistent. Even when it feels like progress is slow, they stick with it, knowing that time is their greatest ally. Step 5. Reinvesting every penny of profit. What if I told you there's a way to supercharge your wealth without adding any extra money out of pocket? This next tactic is what separates slow growth from exponential growth reinvesting profits. Say you start investing in dividend stocks or mutual funds that pay dividends. Instead of taking those dividends as cash, low-income millionaires reinvest them. Each time a dividend is paid, they buy more shares, which then produce even more dividends. This creates a snowball effect, allowing even small investments to grow substantially over time. This reinvestment strategy might not sound flashy, but over decades, it's one of the most powerful ways to build wealth on a low income. Step 6. Creating an emergency fund to protect investments. Let's pause on the idea of investments for a moment and talk about something essential. Your emergency fund. Why? Because the quickest way to lose money is by being forced to sell investments during a financial emergency. Imagine building up a small investment portfolio only to have to sell it all because of an unexpected car repair or medical bill. This is where the importance of a cushion comes in. Most millionaires, even those who started with low wages, keep an emergency fund equal to three to six months of expenses. It's not glamorous, but it's essential. 
This fund is like a shield, protecting your investments from being raided in a time of need. And when your investments are safe, they have time to grow untouched, which is key to reaching that millionaire mark. Step 7. Automate everything for consistency without effort. Consistency is hard, especially when you're managing a tight budget. But here's a hack that low-income millionaires swear by automation. When you set up automatic transfers to a savings or investment account, you're making wealth building happen without having to think about it. Each payday, a small portion is whisked away to grow, no questions asked. This one move is huge because it eliminates the temptation to spend extra cash as soon as it hits your account. By automating your investments, even just $50 or $100 a month, you ensure you're always moving closer to your goal. This consistency is what separates those who hope to build wealth from those who actually do. Step 8. Side Hustles with Purpose – Adding an Income Stream for Investments Now let's get into one of the most powerful accelerators for anyone on a low salary, the side hustle. But here's the twist. Not all side hustles are created equal. Low-income millionaires don't just pick up extra work for spending money, instead they focus on side gigs that can funnel directly into investments. Imagine earning an extra $200 a month by freelancing, driving for a rideshare, or selling items online. When you dedicate this income solely to investments, it becomes a growth engine separate from your primary paycheck. The idea isn't just to work more, but to work smarter. Step 9. Learning high-value skills to increase your hourly rate. One of the smartest moves you can make, especially if you're starting on a low hourly wage, is to invest time in learning new skills that increase your value in the job market. Low-income millionaires often begin with humble jobs but realize they can rise above their starting position by learning skills that boost their income potential. Take certifications or online courses in high-demand areas like digital marketing, coding, graphic design, or even a trade. For example, a certified welder can earn up to $30 an hour, twice what they started with. The extra money doesn't go toward lifestyle upgrades, but rather straight into investments or paying down any debts. Incremental bumps in your hourly wage might seem small, but when channeled into wealth building, they have a huge long-term impact. Step 10. Delayed gratification, the foundation of long-term wealth. Let's talk about one of the most important traits of low-income millionaires, delayed gratification. It's easy to want rewards right away, buying new gadgets, clothes, or going on vacations. But, for those building wealth on modest salaries, the secret lies in waiting for rewards. Imagine this. Instead of spending a year's worth of raises on things you don't need, you invest it. A single year's delayed gratification might mean a few thousand dollars invested that compounds for decades. Over time, this habit of holding off on instant rewards snowballs, creating a significant difference in net worth compared to those who prioritize short-term comforts. When you see your friends upgrading their cars or buying new clothes, remember this. Millionaires in the making resist the urge to keep up with others. They choose investments over impressing others and that patience pays off exponentially in the end. Step 11. Leverage tax-advantaged accounts for wealth accumulation. Taxes can quietly eat away at any income or investment returns. So here's another trick that low-income millionaires use. Tax-advantaged accounts. Even on a small income, contributing to an IRA, individual retirement account, or, if available, an employer-sponsored 401k can make a significant difference in building wealth. Imagine investing $3,000 a year in a tax-free account like a Roth IRA. Even if you're only able to contribute a small amount, it grows without the weight of taxes cutting into your returns. Over time, that adds up to thousands of dollars saved and invested for your future pushing you closer to your millionaire goal. Step 12. Invest in yourself by building financial knowledge. Becoming a millionaire isn't just about dollars and cents, it's also about the knowledge that helps you make smart financial decisions. Millionaires on modest incomes invest in themselves by reading personal finance books, attending financial workshops, or following reputable financial advice online. This knowledge isn't just abstract, it translates into better decisions, like avoiding high-interest loans, choosing profitable investments, and maximizing every dollar. The more you understand how money works, the more empowered you are to control your financial future. A few books that low-income millionaires often cite as life-changing include The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson, Your Money or Your Life by Vicki Robin and Joe Dominguez, The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. These books focus on the mindset and strategies of people who built wealth from modest beginnings, exactly the path you're on. Step 13. Celebrate small wins to stay motivated on the journey. 
Wealth building can be a slow process, and it's easy to get discouraged, especially when you're starting with a modest income. But low-income millionaires find ways to stay motivated by celebrating each small milestone they hit. Did you save your first $1,000? Celebrate that. Paid off a credit card? Recognize it. Each of these small achievements is a step closer to your goal, and acknowledging them keeps you focused and motivated. Instead of waiting until you have a million dollars to feel accomplished, enjoy every bit of progress. That positive reinforcement keeps you committed, even when the journey is long. There's one crucial step that could change everything for you. How to buy real estate on a low salary isn't just a dream, it's a real opportunity to build wealth. And it's a game changer for so many people on their path to millionaire status. Click on the video on your screen right now to discover how. Thanks for watching.